Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today what we are going to start is our admin panel. So first I'm going to show you how to use Webpack Mix, how you to do this, how to compile multiple assets into one file. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to have one or two files not to have like a bunch of files. Now next part. I'm not going to tell you which uh, admin uh, template to use because that it's up to you this is not mine this is uh, something that I found on internet now uh, I think let me just check what I'm gonna tell you um, I'm going to get to the assets nope it's this so I'm just gonna find where I grab this one here it is it's saying here now this is the link that I've used so you can Google it in this is what I done so click download so when it's download I put it in the onto the desktop and here it is now I just create admin template here in all of the files I extracted to here now all of the files extracted that we need are here but they are too many and I only got this disk folder and I put it to admin files. So I'm gonna get this admin files to you guys. So if you want to use the same one, just go and use it. So here in this admin, I have two things: CSS folder, JS folder. In all of these that we are going to use, we mostly going to use the index. Here it is. Now the area chart, bar chart. I'm gonna tell you how you can use it, but I'm we probably not gonna use it in our course. So the thing is that. In if you go control U here, you can see that we do have this one is linking to style CSS, and after that, in the bottom we do have a lot of JS files in order for this to work. Now, everything that start from HTTPs uh, TPS, it's pulling somewhere from internet. This with the physical pad, like the third one like the assets 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 they all our files that are we need to get the uh, to get or to compile into one in order to use this admin now you can use the old style you can reference them then if you don't want to do this this way you can use old style referencing like this or the js file at the bottom so you can do it like this now so what I've done is from all of these I'm just gonna open up again so from the template file files folder I went to the disk went to the assets from demo I grab all of these and I put it here but here remember there is a one more scripts now this scripts is located here in this JS so I have four, one two three four five I have five JavaScript files and I have one styles, one CSS style. Here it is. Now I need only those. That's why I, I don't need. That's why I don't need. Uh, I mean, wrong folder actually. That's why I don't need need all this bunch of nonsense here, all right? Now, these admin files you can get it from me, or I suggest to search it. Bootstrap for admin template free search it download it whatever you want there's a bunch of, of internet here it is templates you can do whatever you want this is my one but you can find multiple difference so um, that's why I'm just trying to say that you probably need to go beyond me and just download any other uh, template and start that is I'm not gonna explain too much if you want to use mine that's all good and in future if this method that I'm gonna show you if it's not working then you can do old style of referencing and stuff like that now what I'm going to do at this stage I'm gonna create I'm gonna use web pack, sorry web pack mix because this is the part that we are just compiling assets so here we are pulling app.js and what we are doing so it's getting it's grabbing from resources js app.js and we're chewing that up 
into public JS folder. Same things it with SCSS file, app.scss, and we are putting that one into the public. Now, we're going to extend this a little bit later, but first things first, I'm going to create a new folder called team. Very good. In this folder or teams, whatever it suits you. So I'm just going to open my Lara Ulti Pro. Here it is. And I'm going to open team. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab all, not, yeah, I'm just going to grab these two, sorry, these two files here. And I'm going to paste it. Now, just going to close because I don't need it from now. So I don't need to start bootstrap. I'm not going to give you this file. And I'm not going to give you this file. So I'm gonna, uh, if you want, you can do this file. Otherwise, you're on your own to get a new admin template. So that's what I'm trying to do. You need to start using your imagination, your brain, and get some new template because you're going to learn things like that. Not just copy and pasting for me. Because in future, if things is not linking, you can say, okay, I have this problem. Yes, you do have this problem because it's, two, it's going to be 2020, 2021, and you're going to have uh, a lot of different things, right? New things added. That's the problem. Now, I don't need this anymore. I don't need this anymore. Uh, this dashboard can stay. Now, we need to compile the assets. So here is API, Webpack, build steps. We have the build step in our previous project. Remember, the NPM scripts. So we are doing the same pretty much thing. Now here in team, I do have the CSS, but I want to use those, those things in the Webpack mix, right? So how, now you know how to compile JS files like this and SCSS or SAS files and put it inside the folder. Actually, these two lines produces these two files, app.css and app.js, right? Now, I'm going to teach you one more thing. Here, I'm going to teach you how to use CSS styles. So, for example, I'm just going to create dot styles. And what, what we are going to specify here, I'm going to have a, uh, I'm going to tell you that you can do it like this. So if you have multiple files, CSS files, you can have an array. And now in this array, actually, you can link team forward slash CSS styles.css. So actually, I'm linking this one. Theme CSS style.css. Here it is, the, the path. Now, if you have, imagine if you have another file here. You can do it this. You can put a comma here and put it again. Theme CSS, I don't know, C, um, app.css, for example. But you, we don't have it here. This is if you have two or more files. Now, I do have only one file, and I want that file to be chewed up, to be compiled. When I say chewed up, it's compiled into the public folder in what? CSS, and I'm gonna name it admin.css because in the public folder, CSS, we do have the app.css. So I'm just gonna put it as this here, and maybe, this one is more, this one is better like this, represented. Now, better. So, I'm done with the styles because I have only two styles. This is a CSS style. Here it's, you're learning how to compile SCSS into CSS and JS into JS. Here we are using the CSS style. Now, this will be clear in the moment. Here, next part, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to say scripts because we do have multiple scripts, right? Now with the scripts, you, it will be everything, um, how to say, you will understand pretty much everything now. So I'm going to say team JS and I want to start with the scripts.js. Now I'm just going to put a comma here. I'm going to load all of these JS. Now let's put it chart theme js uh bar.js oops the next one we have a couple of files here by the way so i don't want to js then what i have pie chart i think we have one more 
beam js this is all for the charts i told you that i'm not we're not going to use them in you don't put a comma here because if you put a comma you will have a problem you put a comma here and you say okay i want this to be compiled into the public folder js public directory js folder and we're going to say admin.js so this is going to be the new file created admin.js and new file for the css so that's pretty much it now in the public i will have another file here and another file here so now you know how to do this okay i'm gonna save it i hope i'm not gonna have any problems now here in the c uh, in the cmd actually you can write php actually you don't need to write you say npm run dev make sure that you are in your project right so now we need to compile again so if you have any mistake it will be here in future if this is not working you know how to reference it the you can put all of the files for example all of this you can put it in the public directory and you can link them right but I don't want to do that I just want to have one file that's why I'm doing this but in future if it's not working in, in, in if I haven't updated you just put all of the, the files here in this folder and then link them in your project okay now this is what happened here it is completed successfully and this is milliseconds okay now I'm gonna go in the public I'm gonna go to CSS here it is the admin CSS and here we do have all of what we need very good now in JS I want to see admin JS and this admin JS is packed with information and coding here for the charts for everything so that's pretty much it now this is getting too long but what we are going to do is I want to see if this is gonna work for that reason so we are done with the webpack mix now you know how to compile multiple files into one file this is better for me I don't have to link those files remember we do have like three files here so we can do the same thing and we can put it in app.js instead of having post toggle and sidebar it can be in one so now you know how to do that and that's your homework you can do it by yourself now this team actually I don't need it anymore we're not gonna use it uh, but in resources views I'm just gonna create a new folder called admin and in the admin folder let's create index.blade.php and admin file goes here so now we need to open the web we need to get a route for this one I'm just gonna copy pretty much this and I'm gonna say admin by the way we're gonna change this all of it admin and I'm gonna um, yeah let's put a name but here I don't have a controller so what we can do we can do function and we can return view which view the view that we created now but that is located in admin.index right maybe you forgot how to use it here very good now let's go here slash admin and I should see admin file goes here very good now we have the files I'm just gonna show you we have the files here index so I'm just gonna open the index again I'm gonna close this old one control U and I'm gonna copy every content what is inside in uh, where it is here I'm just gonna paste it in this index I'm gonna save it but remember we need to reference our we don't have this asset we don't have the, the chart will not work because we don't have this directory we don't have this scripts anymore we do have admin JS now we don't have even this one so if I open now if I refresh so I'm just gonna close if I refresh and I would see everything without without any styles or without any JS so if you go view page source or control U, you will see that we're still referencing but if you go there there's nothing there uh, that's cool and actually you see this font awesome because we are pulling directly from internet HTTPS CDN, JS, Cloudflare, it's like like that. Now I'm just gonna close this one. 
So what we are going to do is actually we need to use um, we need to pull out the, the assets. So how are we going to do this? So the best way to do it is just to, to delete this one and I'm going to say link and style sheet it will be there but in the href bar we need to get what? asset and the, our asset is CSS admin dot CSS. Very good. Now if I refresh this one I should be able to see everything except for the charts and here it is everything is working right even this one is working why because the JavaScript is there we do have this code jQuery yeah now that's why I'm t telling you to put new one here because they change it they update it, this min.js file they update everything that's why I'm just asking you to grab your own team now I'm just gonna delete this script.js because we don't reference that one we don't have these assets we don't have this one everything is from the internet from the CDN we don't we don't worry about those things now we can do the same thing here so if you want to see the how to say if you want to see all of these all of the charts I'm gonna say like this script src and we are going to pull asset and js and we are done by the way admin.js right because we don't do have those files and I'm just gonna oops I'm just gonna close this one and I'm gonna save it now we should be able to see here it is all of the charts but as I told you I'm not gonna use it but I want to be there for you guys now everything should work very good everything should be responsive I like it yep everything is as we need at this very stage now now you know how to do all of this so if you delete this where it is if you delete this theme it's not gonna be a problem and yeah so now we know that our index of blade is functional but we still need to clean it up and probably we're gonna put it in the layout remember we do have the the views we do have this layout app.blade so old app you can delete it I'm not gonna delete it yet so in layout we can create admin app.blade and we can create a layout for our admin files and that's gonna be very awesome maybe we're gonna do that next one so now you know how to compile multiple files CSS files so if you have multiple CSS files put it with comma here just we did it here don't put comma at the end it will run into an error this is how we can do it in the moment so there is no much information on the internet how you can do this but now you know how to do this and we just create a route here just to reference our view and um, that's pretty much it and next lesson will be should be more interesting than this one so also highly suggest to get some dashboard that you really like right now we have this working dashboard we need to find a way how to use it for our own project thank you very much I hope you enjoy this lecture and I see you in the next one